Welcome to Morning Praise and Prayer this Wednesday morning at 8 a.m. As usual, we're using the service that's based on the first service in the Methodist Worship Book of Britain and in order for morning prayer in the United Methodist Hymnal. Our prayer list is from November 15th for Newark United Methodist Church. O oh Lord, oh. open our lips and we shall declare your praise. Loving God, we have come to worship you. New every day is your love, great God of light. And all day long you are working for good in the world. Stir up in us desire to serve you, to live peacefully with our neighbors, and to devote each day to your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, the Lord. Amen. Now our scripture is Judges chapter 4, verses 1 through 7. It's a message translation. The people of Israel kept right on doing evil in God's sight. With Ehud dead, God sold them off to Jabin, king of Canaan, who ruled from Hazor. Sisera, who lived in Harosheth Hagoyim, was the commander of his army. The people of Israel cried out to God because he had cruelly oppressed them with his 900 iron chariots for 20 years. Deborah was a prophet, the wife of Lepidoth. She was judge over Israel at that time. She held court under Deborah's palm between Ramah and Bethel in the hills of Ephraim. The people of Israel went to her in matters of justice. She sent for Barak, son of Abinuam from Kedesh in Naphtali, and said to him, It has become clear that God, the God of Israel, commands you. Go to Mount Tabor and prepare for battle. Take ten companies of soldiers from Naphtali and Zebulun. I'll take care of getting Sisera, the leader of Jabin's army, to the Kishon River with all his chariots and troops, and I'll make sure you win the battle. Our psalm this morning, Psalm 123. To you I lift up my eyes, O you who are enthroned in the heavens. As the eyes of servants look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God until he has mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy upon us, for we have had more than enough of contempt. Our soul has had more than its fill of the scorn of those who are at ease, of the contempt of the proud. Let us give thanks to God. For the love of our Father, the maker of all, the giver of all good things, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God for the world's beauty and the changing seasons and for the life that we have been given. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lived and worked among us, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For his suffering and death on the cross and his resurrection to new life, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God for his rule over all things and his presence in the world. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the Holy Spirit, the giver of life, who teaches and guides us, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the grace of the Spirit and the work of the church and the life of the world, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. For what are you grateful to God this day? Now, I have to tell you, I'm very grateful. I now have two brand new nine-year-old beagles in my home. I, they are part, were part of a rescue program. So I give thanks to God for those who work to rescue dogs and make it possible for them to have new homes. And thanks to God for the foster family that took care of them as we went through the adoption process. 
And I'm going to pop a picture in the middle of this when I do the, the edited form so that you all can see just how adorable they are too. Let us lift up our concerns to God, eternal God, loving parent. We pray for the church throughout the world, for this church and all who call it home, that in faith and unity, we may be constantly renewed by your Holy Spirit for mission and service. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the peoples of the world, for the leaders of the nations, that they may seek justice, freedom, and peace for all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our country, for those who have authority and influence, that all may serve one another in wisdom, honesty, and compassion. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those among whom we live and work, for all our neighbors. For those who have lost work or are at risk of losing their jobs. For families that have lost loved ones this week. For all who grieve. For those who are finding it difficult to work from home. For those alone and who feel forgotten. For those affiliated with the University of Delaware. For those who are without a home or at risk of losing their home. For first responders, police officers, paramedics, EMTs, firefighters, and support personnel. For organizations and volunteers who are feeding those in need and that they have enough to meet the need. For students, teachers, administrators, staff, parents, and others who support them. For local businesses struggling in these difficult times. For those experiencing food insecurity. For those who are in prison and their friends and family. For those who are suffering from the after effects of COVID-19. For individuals and families facing difficult decisions. For strength and safety for all caring for those with COVID-19. For our governmental leaders. And for those we might name aloud or silently now. That we may so use your gifts that together we might find joy in your creation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all in sorrow, need, anxiety, or sickness, and for the cares of this community. For those struggling with drug and alcohol addiction. For those suffering with mental health issues. For those who are victims of domestic violence. For everyone affected by the fires in our Western states and especially for all the wildfire control personnel who are fighting a beast the likes of which no one has ever experienced. For all medical health professionals with Thanksgiving and for safety and guidance. For those who have served in our nation's military and those who continue to do so and their families. Continued prayers of gratitude for successful recovery after liver transplant. For a family member facing further treatment for fast moving breast cancer. For a church family whose father continues to be in hospice care at home. For our nation and the world. For the family and friends of loved ones who have passed on this past year and are deeply loved and missed. For continued healing for most recent 
from most recent surgery and a good report after a doctor appointment this week. Receiving this care and their family and friends. For the one in need of healing and peace after a severe stroke following a heart catheterization. The 97 year old who is receiving hospice care and their family. <clears throat> For the one in need of a complete recovery and relief from pain following a terrible fall that caused several injuries, a fractured spine, broken ribs, a broken wrist and broken teeth, prayers for her family as they care for her. For the church member who was in the hospital and has moved to Millcroft. For successful procedures on November 11th and 12th to verify whether cancer from a squamous cell carcinoma over the left eye has gone deeper and then repair those surgical wounds. Comfort and peace for the family and friends of a loved one that passed on after months of illness. For strength, wisdom, faith, and guidance to a clear path forward for a small business owner who is struggling to keep his head above water and is so discouraged. Prayers also for his family as it is so very difficult to watch a loved one struggle. For continued healing for a church member after a stroke. For the one in need of healing, recovery, and a quadruple heart bypass surgery. For the amazing infectious disease department that was able to finally get a handle on a mysterious infection. Praise be to God and to our prayer warriors as we honor the power of prayer with gratitude and thanksgiving. For the many prayers after my husband's stroke with gratitude and thanksgiving. For the one in need of recovery after a back injury. And for those we might name aloud or silently. So today is Veterans Day in, in this nation. And while we celebrate veterans, I just want to lift up um, the scars that many carry and the wounds that many carry and that God might grant them peace and comfort as, as they face the additional battles of life now that they're no longer facing the real battles of war. God, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your son. We pray you accept and answer our prayers, not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May you not find yourself sore oppressed this day. But if you do, may the God who heard the cries of the ancients and responded, hear your cries and send comfort, healing, liberation, and hope into your life. Amen. Hope you have a wonderful day. <laughs>